Hey friends! So, I wanted to continue my dialogue about, um, I wish I were at home and talking about this, but I was just in a very cool conversation uh, with two individuals, and um, I have to cover my shirt. <laughs> this is my work shirt. I want my work. P.S. Oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Um, my work just has a weird logo, so I just want to be able to cover that. I respect my job, and anyways, so long story short, um, hmm. So we're talking about energy, frequency, vibration in the first video. So this will be, um understanding um vibrations understanding vibrations and intuition i'll make this very quick so long story short we're talking about let's say i teach a dance class <clears throat> and in a dance class i'm aware for me to be conscious aware and awake and knowing the chakras knowing the kundalini knowing about chi energy um, et cetera, et cetera. If I go dark, you guys, just keep listening to my voice. <laughs> um, so basically, I know how to, it's kind of sad to say this, I know how to manipulate the mind through hermetics. And ancient hermetics was all about math, time, space, energy. In dance, we have the same laws too, time, space, energy, um, time space energy and body time space energy body so that's for dance hermetics is all about time space and energy time and space equals energy essentially there is no time so is what you utilize from nothing you create uh, time so hermetics is like math science chemistry things like that we already know those things and so I was trying to tell my group today that it's very simple to learn how to dance when you just focus on time. When you focus on, uh, it, it's not so much counting, it's really following an algorithm. And following algorithms less than five allows the brain to retain and remember as long as you repeat that thing less than five times. So if I did, one, two, three, four. Five was a snap. And I were to repeat that. Oops, I did the wrong one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. I've already programmed my brain. So Matt, no matter if I stop doing that move for a year, the next time I do this, it will retain itself because I basically created a file from nothing and I put it in my, you know, I put it in my, what do you call that? My drawer. Uh, anyways, moving on. So I was talking about celebrities and the chakras with these two guys. And so let's say that there's a difference between like, a lot of people say, oh, my gosh, there's this uh, secret group and blah, blah and blah. Well, it's not our position in our conscious reality to dictate what's good and bad. As long as you stay away from judging and being biased, you will actually create um, what they call ascension. Ascension is where your DNA increases more uh, information. Uh, you actually become a little bit more happier. You're able to use the laws of attraction much faster. Um, when you get negative or bickery about something, you lower your frequency and then some unfortunate events happen and then all of a sudden um, you go, why isn't this happening? Why is this happening to me? I'm blah, 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 blah. So it's really like if something occurs, and I've been practicing this for a long time, if something occurs as negative, I usually just be quiet as, as soon as it's happening because I don't know how I'm going to respond. So I just go, even if I know that it's going to hurt me, I stay silent. I stay quiet. And then I find an outlet where I can execute 
uh, you know, my tension. So like, let's say for example, I got sad over, you know, I got ghosted in this relationship or I want to be in a relationship with someone and they don't want to communicate with me. Um, I'll find an, a, a reason, I'll find an outlet, like social media is my best outlet. So I'll put out on social media, uh, you know, you know, the thing about what I learned when people don't communicate with me, that it's okay. And now that I've confirmed my uh, resolution and people have witnessed my confirmation of resolution, it actually changes your storyline going forward. Your storyline is what we call a timeline. Um, sometimes we call it timeline jump because you might feel sad now, but then once you understand something, you actually change the future outcome of your attitude. That's a timeline jump. I had to lift you guys because the bump was here. So going back to celebrities, I was talking about how most of these singers, artists, performers have such depressive energy, such negative energy. And I've noticed the, the, when it comes to movement and dance, the part of their body they're constantly moving is their sacral chakra, their sacral and solar plexus chakras. And so like, let's say, uh, for example, uh, you know, Britney Spears, Michael Jackson, Rihanna, um, Beyonce, they, they either have like uh, Nicki Minaj, great, that's a great example, her butt, <laughs> that's Kundalini. Once you have people from all over the world, billions of people focusing energy on those chakras, then you kind of have blockages. And you wonder why these artists have such negative attitudes. Because it's people who are constantly sending energy to those areas in that person's body. So understand that when artists, entertainers, or any type of advertisement shows uh, they're covering one eye and they're showing the other, it's actually trying to exemplify protection. The eye of Horus covering one eye always shows protection uh, in their practice, not in mine. <laughs> That's the Kabbalistic practice. And Kabbalistic has a lot of connections to Rome, it has a lot of connections to um, Judaism, and it has a lot of connections to uh, uh, some type of Egyptian, some type of it idolizing the sun idolizing the pyramid the pyramid and the triangle uh, exemplify um, Holy Spirit Trinity in their opinion they don't say God but they show it in a triangle that's concentrating your energy focusing your energy towards one point and um, you might see hand gestures of President Trump does it all the time all of his fingertips will touch together and you know that's just it is what it is. That's not my practice, but that's what they do. But it, all in all, um, that hand gesture talks about the divine feminine, which is a downward facing triangle. And the downward facing triangle uh, always returns back to self. It's self nurturing. It, and, and just to let you guys know, I'm not in any type of practice at all, period. Um, person, don't hit me. Um, I'm not in any type of denomination. So when I say these things, they're really what I've downloaded, channeled. It's what is in my presence of my heart and soul that I want to share as a message that you all have to be very careful what you do as far as hand gestures, as far as um, advertisement, uh, communicating with others. And you have to sometimes exemplify your pureness of your heart. So a lot of times I will put a purple shaped heart in my text messages. I try to keep it frequent so people know I am pure and you know I'm only speaking from my higher, like not my higher self, the higher self, on behalf of the higher self. What is higher self? Higher self is God, higher self is Holy Spirit, higher self is called source, higher self could be prime elder, so you have all these different examples of uh, 
it's just a better way to bridge people to stop being so against religion because religion needed to happen because duality needed to happen um, duality creates frequency this side versus that side I said it in my last video then people kind of have this detachment from eh, I guess I'll go this other way uh, detachment from religion you know I don't really feel like going to worship every Sunday and what am I worshiping too why am I speaking in tongues when angels and angelic benevolence don't have organs <laughs> I tell people this all the time. Like, why are you speaking in tongues? Tongues might create vibration because literally it's it's connected to your thymus gland, which is your heart chakra. And that uh, is connected to your throat chakra as well. There's two chakras in the thymus gland. And I just realized this today too. Your pineal gland has two organs as well. Your eyeballs. Your pituitary gland has two glands as well, or two uh, nodes in the temples. Um, solar plexus have the kidneys. Um, and then as I was saying in the last video, your sacral chakra has the, the um, reproductive uh, lymph nodes. So every chakra, I don't know about the lymph nodes in the feet though, <laughs> for the root, but anyways, uh, Concentrate your energy on positive thoughts. Always, It's always great to be aware of things. Like, I, I got into the conspiracy theory world. I fell into all of it. But then things are now shifting me to say, I'm no judge of people because I'm a hot mess myself. I'm just a hot mess trying to correct a lot of his uh, experiences. And the things that I have afflicted on my body, endured on my body... I now need to go into a frequency of raising myself higher than those situations that may have created those experiences. So with that said, I want to let you guys go. Um, did I talk about Michael Jackson? No, I didn't. You know, he was very corrupted. Well, he was, he was a target of corruption because he always grabbed his crotch. And that is your what? Sacral chakra. That's your. That's so personal and intimate, and that can create a blockage. And once that is blocked from anybody, you didn't see him date anybody for long-term purposes. You didn't see him naturally have children. So that's just a great example of next time you want to take that selfie with your butt cheeks hanging out, you might not want to do that. Next time that you want to show your cleavage, for attention you may not want to do that your physical heart is right behind that so realize in your reality what you are afflicting and what you are deflecting all right everybody i'll talk to you later bye